What is up, you guys? It's your favorite to reader, and I am back. I guess I'm not back with another read. I'm back with Vlogmas Day 21, um, or maybe 22, or maybe 22. Okay, honey, period. We are back with the motherfucking morning smoke session. Okay, and today we will be talking about relationships and why you should mind your own fucking business. Okay, period. So. Um, I should have wrote down like some topics or something, but this kind of just came to my mind because let me show y'all what I was watching and how this video idea came to my mind. Um, so I was watching this girl on YouTube. I don't know if y'all y'all know her, but she's from the show Teen Mom. Her name is Ashley Siren and she does vlogs and her and her dude Bar was together on fucking Teen Mom fucking four years ago, right? And you gotta think about it, they had this whole relationship and they had their relationship on TV. Not only did they have their relationship on TV, but they were young, right? Like fucking teen moms, like fucking 17, 18 and shit. Like, so not only are you young and dumb, but you young and dumb and making your mistakes in front of the world. You know, like, so it's a lot. And I was just looking at that um, vlog and I'm like, man. Her nigga changed, like, he a better man for her. Like, their daughter is thriving, they're beautiful, they have a beautiful-ass family. But if you look at the shit that they went through on the fucking show, it's just like, bitch, I would not, like, bitch, that's your nigga? Bitch, that's your nigga, that's your bitch? I would not be with that person no more. Like, this bitch done fought my mama, done fought my sisters. Bitch, I'm not gonna be with you no more. Um, you know, type shit. And it just got me to thinking about me and Jonathan and the day that we had yesterday and all kind of shit like that. So yesterday we got into it really, really bad. Um, the fuck am I talking about really, really bad? We didn't get into it fucking really bad. We just got into an argument. We got into an argument um, because he basically told me like, shit, that fucking house is dirty. Like the house is dirty and you have not cleaned up. Um, hold on, cause I'm finna... But yeah, so if y'all don't already, go follow me on Instagram, okay, honey, period. I got me a little line. But yeah, so me and Jonathan ended up getting into it yesterday. Um, because he basically told me, like, the house was dirty. And it offended me, because I'm like, shit, nigga, you don't help me clean up. Like, we go half and half on these bills, but you don't half and half clean this motherfucking house. Like, what the fuck? That shit not fair. <laughs> like, that shit not fair. You expect me to pay bills, take care of the kids, and motherfucking work, and motherfucking cook and clean. Like, this shit don't play. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I feel so cute right now. Hold on. I really just feel so long. <laughs> Who yet is? Curious is. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that's what got me on the topic. That's what kind of got me thinking about. Um, pretty much what we're talking about today, which is relationships and why you shouldn't judge couples. Um, so yeah, anyway, we got into it yesterday and then, uh, we were on social media with each other, like riding around in the car and, um, uh, he'd be posting me and it's just like, bitch, like y'all see all these cute pictures, y'all see all the cute shit, you know, like y'all see the shit on the vlogs and, you know, like I feel like. 
even with like celebrity couples like when that shit happened with jay-z and beyonce and shit where like it's of course she gonna go down when it's a million dollars on the elevator period like shit be happening in relationships and i just feel like people need to mind their own fucking business like when i think about me and jonathan and like what we have been through this year i just be like bitch like <laughs> like for us to only have been together for a year like and y'all watched our whole relationship um y'all would be able to see when i first started talking about him when i first started texting him in my videos um yeah so y'all can pretty much see the progression of our relationship if you guys would like to because everything is documented i have all the playlists in the description box below um but yeah so for us to have only have been together for a year it's so 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 surreal how many different obstacles we've had to go through and get through together and personally i'd be like i'd be feeling like okay in love you're supposed to have like the lovey-dovey phase and i feel like me and jonathan haven't had that yet like the cupcake phase or like the newlywed like type phase where it's just like y'all just love each other and me and jonathan kind of jumped in here first we kind of jumped in right away and we got together when both of us were kind of going through a hard time um when both of us were trying to find ourselves and stuff like that so we met at the perfect time but it's just kind of like wow like seeing where we've come from like where where we started it's like i can see my life with him like i can see us going through plenty of shit together i can see us getting through plenty of shit together and love is toxic love is toxic and i'm saying that to say that all love is toxic i don't care what you say i've been realizing being with jonathan like all love is toxic because the way that i love him is different than i've loved any other man and i know that he's my divine partner but we don't love each other all the way how we want to we don't always pay attention to each other we don't always see each other like day-to-day -day shit like what I do for you, just my role as a woman, and what you do for me with your role as a man. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in the shit that our partner not doing that we don't really see everything that they are doing. And that can be toxic shit. Uh, it's a lot of different ways a relationship can be toxic. And I feel like, the reason why I feel like all love is toxic is because I feel like if you're deciding to love somebody, whether that be a family member, whether that be a best friend, a close friend, um, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a significant other, or something like that, um, but there is just like an energy of kind of like feeling like, okay, if you're going to love somebody, you have to teach them how not only how you want to be loved, not only how you want to be loved, but kind of like how you love. Because from my point of view, I feel like, okay, the way I love Jonathan is just the way that I love him. Like, I love him in this way. But I also want him to teach me how to love him. Because I'm going to love him how I love him regardless. Because this is how I show love. This is how I give love. But I be telling him, like, you know, teach me. Like, tell me what you want. Like, don't hold nothing in. Don't spare my feelings. Like, talk to me about how you feeling. Like, let me know so that we can be, you know, a better couple. But, yeah, just, like, overall, loving somebody, I feel like it's toxic because you have to learn that person's love language. Like, and until y'all learn each other, it's going to be toxic. And even still, I feel like after a while because there are different ways to be toxic let's say okay we're not putting our hands on each other but we're emotionally abusive we're emotionally not paying attention to each other mentally not paying attention to each other clocking each other out maybe giving each other silent treatments or um being petty or any of that kind of shit any of that kind of shit is considered to me toxic it's toxic to the relationship being petty in a relationship is toxic to the relationship it's not going to be conducive you being petty right now but y'all gonna be back cool tomorrow so why not just not be petty you know like i'm learning ever since our baby died 
the way that I love him has been different. Like, I've just been wanting to see him. Like, I've been wanting to be aware of him. Um, like, and that's the thing about relationships. Like, they are hard work. And people look up to you and people feel some type of way about you and your relationship. And they don't know half the shit it took to put you in that position. That's why I say, mind your business. You can see a couple, um... And it's like, oh, her nigga always cheat on her, or her nigga um, be out all night, or um, I just seen her nigga at the club, or her nigga was talking to so-and-so, or her nigga don't got no job, um, her man don't do shit for her, her man, all he do is just buy her shit, but he ain't no good nigga to her, like, people gonna talk regardless, especially single motherfuckers, like, people are gonna talk regardless, um, and you really, it's like, who are you to judge, like, any relationship? Like, unless somebody's in here, like, beating your ass, like, fighting you or something like that. And even then, it's like, okay, you can't really intervene. You can't really intervene like that until that person wants you to. Because speaking from a person who was in an abusive relationship, um... As much as I wanted to get out, I was choosing not to, if that makes sense. Like, people act like, or we feel like we can't really walk away, but you can walk the fuck away. You can walk the fuck away. You just gotta be not scared to do it. Now, matter of fact, you can be scared, but you just still gotta do it. But I think a lot of times people fantasize about relationships and they have this, um, that have this connotation that relationships are supposed to be perfect. You know, nobody is supposed to fuck up. And especially when you're single and you're on the outside looking in and you're thinking about what you would do in a situation or how you would want your man to move, you're not understanding that that's you. That's you. You don't know what that person will take. You don't know what that person will accept. You don't know what that person... And I ended up on Snapchat. And I wasn't looking at nobody's snaps or anything, but I was on, like, um, Hooked on a Look... And then, um, after Hooked on the Look came, like, um, Love Don't Judge. And I just got to watch all of them. And there was one where this girl did pet play. It was also one where the wife was, like, they was in a domestic discipline relationship. Meaning, like, okay, if the wife didn't do what she was supposed to do, the man would spank her or make her do some kind of chore around the house or something like that where she was being disciplined. And guess what? It was her fucking idea. We don't know how she was raised. We don't know why she liked that kind of shit. All we know is that that's what it is. Right? But for a person to judge and be like, damn, he putting his hands on her and, you know, they kids seeing this and blah, 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 blah. Whole time, they already have something established within their household where they know what the fuck going on. But it's like people are so quick to judge based off of our circumstances. And we are not understanding that bitch we the only person in the world that's just like us so nobody is gonna live the same type of relationship that you live nobody is gonna live the same kind of life that you live nobody is gonna do the same kind of shit that you do and that just it that just it is what it is it just is what it is but i feel like relationships are like the most taboo thing it's like you can't win for losing if you in a good ass relationship people are gonna judge you and assume that it's some shit going on in the background if you are in a bad ass relationship people are gonna judge you and assume that y'all shouldn't be together there's always gonna be judgment there's always gonna be scrutiny and there's always gonna be other people like period And I've recently been opening myself up to the thought of, like, polygamy and dating multiple people and having an open relationship and stuff like that. And not, not saying that that's something that I want or something that I want to manifest for my relationship. But I used to judge people who are in polyamorous relationships. Like, damn, you're greedy. Like, there's no way you just need to be with multiple people. There's no way that... I could share my man. There's no way that I could X, Y, and Z and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, bitch, why not? Not saying that any of that is for me, but why is that not appropriate for somebody else? Why can a man not just love two women? Why can a woman not just love two men? 
why can't they be two different couples in one relationship and y'all share everything you know it's like it's different it's a different shit and I just feel like a lot of the times we don't necessarily judge people for the right reasons. It's just like we judge them based off of our life and our experiences and that should not fair. Because you never know the role that somebody plays in somebody else's life. Like for me and Jonathan being in a relationship, I don't care what I put on social media about me and him, about our relationship. Because at the end of the day, He's my rock. Like, he's my rock. The way that he shows up for me mentally, with my mental health, with my emotional health, like, with just my spirit and how calm he is and how gentle he is with my heart. Like, that's what he does for me. That's how he loves me. That's how he loves me. And regardless of if I put on social media one thing one day, Nobody is going to understand how we show up for each other, how we've been going through all this shit. And even if we at each other's throat, we've been at each other's throat for a year. When shit got hard, me and Jonathan was there for each other. Me and him done got through sleepless nights together. We done cried all night together. We done went through fucking losing our child together. We went through not being able to pay our bills. We went through having... Losing a car, buying a car, losing that car, having to buy another car. Like, we been through some shit together. And for it to be so early on in our relationship and we haven't folded, we haven't left each other's side, we haven't hurt each other. Like, well, I can't say we haven't hurt each other because we hurt each other every day. It just is what it is. You, like, being in a relationship, you realize that being in a relationship really, really does make you aware of the other relationships that you have in your life. And I'm just becoming so much more aware of how I pay attention to people and how they show up for me. Because in the beginning of our relationship, like, I used to act like Jonathan didn't do shit for me. Like, I used to feel like he ain't do shit for me. And then having to, like, look back, you truly get a chance to see, like, it's not just about what I'm asking you to do, but it's about what you just want to do for me that maybe I don't notice. You complimenting me all the time or holding my hand when you know I'm nervous or, you know, being able to read my face or read my energy that should be me knowing that you're paying attention to me, knowing that you're listening to me, that you're hearing me, that you're loving on me. Like, Jonathan knows all of my quirks. Like, he knows, he be like, why did you just breathe hard? Are you upset? What are you processing? Why does your face look like that? Like, why did you just look like that? Like, why did you just, like, why did your eyes just do that? Or why did your chest just puff up super heavy? Like, why did you just go like that? And it's like, he reads everything about me because he pays very close attention to me. Like, he looks at me, he stares at me, he watches me. He loves me. And nobody will understand. People could look at me and be like, girl, you with this nigga? Or people could look at him and be like, you with that whack ass bitch? Like, you with that girl? Like, you, you with her? For whatever reason that they have. And niggas could be like that about my nigga for whatever reason that they have. But at the end of the day, y'all don't know what we have together. Period. Like, people look at YouTube couples and be like, oh, this nigga cheated, or he doing this, or he got caught doing that, or he did that. And y'all don't understand that it be a bigger picture. Bitch, we got a family. We got a legacy. Bitch, we got a business. And I'm not saying that's a reason to let somebody hurt you, but at the same time, y'all don't know what caused that hurt. Y'all don't know what's going on in the relationship. Y'all don't know what the other person doing. Y'all don't know, like, okay, let's say I cheated on you physically, but emotionally you was beating me down every day. You was telling me I wasn't shit. You wasn't attracted to me. You wasn't wanting to have sex. Like, and I'm not saying that that gives an excuse, but it does play a role in why the fuck it happened. It does. 
you know so you have to be aware of what role that you play period period that's what i say you can't really judge no relationship like you can't really judge even shit a friendship you can't judge you back friends with that bitch after y'all fought like bitch i ain't petty and i ain't lose i beat the bitch ass like what's up like what what <laughs> no i'm just kidding but it's just like i don't know y'all i don't know i just feel like relationships are so fucking taboo like there's never anything you can do to a hundred percent just have your shit be straight be good because nothing is a hundred percent good all the time there's always going to be shit to come in and pick at you to pick at your relationship and one thing about being in a relationship is when you have somebody that is your partner that you like love love i feel like god will test your relationship like it's it's not no I'm finna just give you this person and your life gets to be great. It's let me see if you're willing to do what you have to do to keep this person. Let me see if you really love this person. Let me see if you're willing to change for this person. If you're willing to go to war for this person. If you're willing to have awkward ass silences and y'all don't know what to say to each other. Are you fucking willing to have long ass fights or days and two without talking to each other? Are you willing to for the sex to be bad or... For y'all not to be in the energy to have sex, are you willing to deal with how this person has sex with you, their fetishes or their kinks? Are you willing to deal with this person's family? Are you willing to deal with this person's friends, maybe their career? Are you willing to sacrifice for them? Are you willing to make compromises? You know, are you forgiving? Do you have a forgiving heart? Do you have a forgiving spirit? Like, there's a lot that goes into having a commitment. There's a lot that goes into having a marriage and a long-lasting relationship. And you don't have to get married. My grandparents have been together for years, and they are not married, but they rock it. Like, you don't have to get married, but you have to kind of, like, you have to understand that there's, there's a goal for a reason. Marriage is a goal for a reason because it's not easy is not easy that should not just fairy tales and rainbows because you found your person you know because and that's why i feel like i call jonathan my person like he's my person i don't call him like oh he's my soulmate he's the love of my life he's i call him he's my person because he's all of that He's all of that. Like, he's my person, but he's not just my lover. He's not just the love of my life. He's also my best friend. He's also, like, a brother to me. He's, like, a cousin to me. He's, like, a father. He encourages me. He gives me love. He gives me light. He's kind of like a child, too, sometimes. Like, I feel like I be babying his ass. Like, he's everything. He's my boss. <laughs> like, he's everything. He's everything. We are business partners together. Like, I look at him like my family. And I know that sounds weird to be saying that because we're in an intimate relationship. But I look at him like my family. Like, he is my family. Like, he is a part of my life. Period. Period. Like, there's no... Oh, we're not going to be together. Like, now when we get into it, I just be like, bitch, this the kind of shit I got to deal with for the rest of my life. I used to be like, I'm not going to deal with this shit my whole life. Like, nigga, we're going to be broken up. Like, I'm not going to deal with you. Now, it just be like, bitch, this the kind of shit I really got to deal with. Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, you're my nigga for life. <laughs> when we be getting into it, in real life, be a conversation like, you not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Let's just, it is what it is. I'm not going to be going through your phone. I'm not going to be stressing myself out about X, Y, and Z. Um, if you want to work all night, nigga, go ahead and work all night. It's like picking your battles. Like, all of being in a relationship take a lot of hard-ass work. And I think that's why people are so judgmental about relationships. Because... A lot of the times we feel like we can't do it like we 
especially I feel like our generation, like we, the last two generations, I feel like we just kind of, like even our parents, because our parents, a lot of our parents are not married, you know, like it used to be a tradition to get married and then have children, you know, and then as time went on, it's like, okay, marriage became too hard, being in that commitment with somebody, being with one person or, you know, d doing all the hard work that it takes to be in a commitment for a long period of time, like, that shit, it got, it, it's like it got harder and harder because guess what, you got technology coming in, you got different kind of jobs coming in where um, people can see other people, people can be around other people, um, you have the influx in fucking um activities like places that you can go to going out there's new stuff being created the world is changing like there's new opportunity for more revealing clothing whereas we used to be more modest like as the world changed it has made being with one person and having a commitment harder it's made it a harder task because you have all this other shit right in front of your face and the world didn't used to look like that the world didn't used to be like that yeah i'm dating tommy and the most that i'm doing is cheating in my city but now you have fucking social media where you could be talking to brenda all the way out of fucking new zealand you have fucking do not disturb on the phone you have fucking privacy and hidden modes and all type of shit that makes for a harder task to keep a relationship going and so now it's like people look at relationships and it's automatically like I wouldn't accept this, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do this, and that's exactly why the fuck your ass is single. <laughs> Not saying it like that, but you have to think about think about the longest relationship that you have in your life, whether that's your mother, your grandmother, your kids, um, whoever the longest relationship that you have in your life right now. Think about that relationship and think about how many times that person have wronged you. But you still love the shit out of them. Think about it. Think about that shit. Like, my mom. My mom is the longest relationship that I've had in my life. I've known her from the time I was born to right fucking now. Um, she is, I feel, the longest, the longest relationship I've had thus far. And Kamaya, for me, I'm that for her because she, she was with me all up in the womb. She, you know, she met me as soon as she came out. She didn't meet nobody else first. I mean, she met all of them too, but she met me first. She knew me the whole time. So, my mom is the person that I've known the longest in my life. And when I think about our relationship, my mom is one of the people that I love the most in my life. Like, it ain't really no list, but my daughter, my mom, my brother, Jonathan, my auntie, like, them, like, my top, like, my top tier so when i think about how much i fucking love my mom and my parents it's just like wow like my mom and my dad have done some fucked up shit you know they've wronged me they've raised me not perfectly you know they've done things to hurt me but i know they loved me and i know that it wasn't purposeful or to hurt me even if it did hurt me it doesn't mean that it was intended to hurt me right so, I can transfer that into my relationship. I can think about that with my husband. Okay, you still love me. Doesn't mean that you're not going to hurt me. It doesn't mean that you're not going to do shit that's probably going to gonna damage our relationship or hurt us. But it also means that I'm not fucking perfect. And I'm probably doing some shit to you too. I found out that I'm very emotionally manipulative. Um, I didn't know that about myself before, but I know that now because sometimes I'll catch myself doing it and the kind of questions that I ask and how I speak to him, like a relationship forces you to see yourself, to see your flaws because you're going to have to change them in order to make the relationship work. You're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to intertwine yourself, mesh yourself with somebody else. So unless you're willing to do that, unless you're willing to make changes and adjust yourself, it doesn't mean you have to change the person that you are, but if you want to mesh with another person, there has to be change. Like, you have to change, right? So, it's like, okay, <laughs> if you're not willing to do that and you're going to be stubborn and not change any of your ways and be stuck in who you are, 
you're not going to give yourself the opportunity to grow with someone. Um, this relationship is teaching me so much compassion, whereas I could cut a nigga or a friend off so quickly before. And now Jonathan is showing me compassion. He's teaching me compassion because no matter what we go through, I, I can see what he's going through. I can see his eyes. I can see, I can feel his energy, you know, so it's just teaching me that even if somebody is hurting you or maybe doing something that you don't like, it doesn't mean that they're intending to do it. It don't mean they even know that they doing it. Like, being with him just made me a lot more aware, aware of the people in my life and kind of like the judgment of other people and my judgment of other people because I have been a person who's judged relationships, whether it's been celebrities, my friends, shit, my best friends, uh, girls that I'm not cool with no more, shit, people on TV, people on YouTube, like, you accidentally judge. I feel like that's, it's human nature to judge. Um, I definitely feel like it's human nature to judge and people want to have the right to judge. That's why a judge makes so much money because that's like, it's like a privilege to be able to judge in public. I don't got to feel bad about that shit. It's, it's my choice. I get to do that. Right. But we all judge on a day to day basis. Like if I see somebody driving in a beat up ass car, I'm going to be like, dang, I wonder what happened to that car. Or I'm going to be like, damn, I bet they wish their car wasn't like that. Or I am i don't know what I'm going to think. I don't know why that was the the example that I used. But it's like, damn, somebody probably happy as hell. You don't even know. Somebody probably just bought that car. Somebody car probably broke the fuck down. And that was the only thing they can afford. And somebody sold them to that bitch for like $500. And it's getting them from point A to B. And that's the only place they go. You never know, but in your mind, you're going to mentally just automatically judge, like, oh, fuck, damn, that's something so bad over there happening, when you don't know what the fuck happened. It could be a blessing in the middle of what happened, and then you thinking it's something so bad. Like, that's why relationships are not to be judged. Like, who are you to say? That's why I never, I never... I never, never, never ask my friends for relationship advice. If you are one of my friends, if you are Brandy or Monet or anybody who kicks in with me or texts me or anything like that, you know, I'm not really coming to you about Jonathan. Like, I'm not coming to you about him. I'm not coming to you about him because there's nothing that you can tell me about him. You don't, you don't know him like I know him. You can't, you can't tell me how to handle our relationship. You can tell me how you've handled yours. I can get advice. I can, I can see how I feel while you're telling me what you're telling me. Because how I feel while you're telling me what you're telling me is going to tell me if that shit resonates with me or not. Right? But yeah, I'm just not that person. I don't spill all my guts about my relationship. And I try my best, even on social media, to like, if we fighting or something like that, to kind of keep it off social media. Um, but even that in itself is very hard and that's where a lot of judgment also comes in because when if you get on social media every day, even if you don't get on social media every day, when you're going through something, a lot of times social media is our history book, it's like our journal, is it's all of that because you, you putting your life on here and to me my Instagram is like my history book like I'm posting my life on here when I'm dead and gone or when I'm not here anymore when the humans are extinct this is going to be pictures or this is going to be history that can show you okay I did this on this day I went here at this point I love being able to look back and be like okay me and Kamaya was rocking like we was doing this and we was doing that so you got to figure if you're going through something and you feel in some type of way, you're going to want to put that on social media. One, because you're going to want that person to see it because you're probably not talking. Two, you're going to want somebody else to feel what the fuck you're saying because you, relatability is is vulnerability. It's being like, okay, did this attracts me because I can relate to that shit. I can resonate with that shit. So if I want to hear like, yeah... I'm going through this and ain't nobody going to do this and make me feel no type of way about X, Y, and Z. Then it's like, okay, cool. Other people liking your shit and you like, yeah, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. 
so it's very much hard and sometimes it's not even done purpose like you could be going through something and i swear something to pop up on your timeline and it's like let me share this shit because that shit true as it is like and then automatically people are judging or assuming there's something going on in your life and it ain't even it ain't even what they assuming or what they thinking but it's some shit going on type shit so it's just like it's to the point where it's like if you whether you in a relationship or not let people do them it don't even got to be about a relationship let people do them period because you never know how somebody rocking with somebody how somebody come in how somebody why somebody working as hard as they working why somebody got a blessing before you got it why somebody got this and you don't got it why they don't got this and you just everybody got their own fucking life to live for real for real and can't nobody like I Did y'all just watch me choke like this? <coughs> Yo, I was a fit. I just feel like social media has started to play a really, 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 really huge role. And just relationships and how things are going and it's just... finally updated my profile picture it hasn't been updated in forever y'all but it's finally updated now go follow me on instagram i'm finna start um uploading again like uploading pictures and all that kind of stuff because i don't Yeah, I don't just be trying to act like he don't love me. Look at him. Trying to act like he don't love me. Who think he is trying to act like he don't love me? Trying to act like he don't love me. Trying to act like he don't love me. He fucked me up. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get up off of here.
y'all see i done just got the okay shout out to tasia moore michaela kingsbury and sma 1616 so sma 1616 so i just wanted to shout you couple ladies out give you guys a shout out since you made it to the end of the video hopefully you guys saw your guys' shout outs uh let me see let me do another one because it's somebody else drea bea um lachey levi and young ben Fink, frank sinatra are the people who have been commenting on my latest videos but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope you guys i hope you guys um got some insight on why not to judge other people's relationship even if you're in a relationship don't judge your friends relationships just let them bitches do what they gonna do let them bitches go back to them niggas however many time they gonna go back to their niggas and um all right y'all anyways like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and turn them post notifications on because even though vlogmas is almost over your girl is a daily vlogger now okay all right period i'm out of here y'all